Welcome to another GibbsCam video. This is version 13 we're working on here and a new module you may have not known about is the uh, ability to cut gummy materials. Now over years and years and years cutting gummy materials on a turning center has sometimes proved difficult. Sometimes it does not matter what insert you choose you still get gummy stringy chips off the part. Well Gibbs has fixed that now. So whether you're cutting titanium, plastic, stainlesses, uh, copper, things that tend to be really gummy, this is the solution for that. So what we have here is just our standard 80 degree diamond and a finish tool. And we're going to bring up a roughing process along with tool number one. And here's our shape you can see here. But on this little uh, process tab here, notice there's something that says chip break right here. Now we have a couple options there. We can either dwell or pull off. So every time it takes a cut, it's going to pull off. So we'll just do a finish pass, or I mean a roughing pass here first. Our standard process here. This is just our standard cutting. Slow it down a bit. Standard roughing process here. But if we're cutting gummy material, that's uh, sometimes proved very difficult. So let's check this box here that says pull off. So on here, I want to pull off 20 thousandths. So it's going to cut, pull off 20 thousandths, come back and uh, cut again. And this is the chip length here. Uh, the longer you have this, or the larger number you have in there, the less um, pull-offs you will have. So we'll just choose 10 for right now and redo this operation. I'll zoom this up a little bit and you can see there's the pull-offs there. Let me do a cut part rendering. You can see the tool is pulling off. Of course that's a little short there, but our chip length is 10 inches. So let's stop that. Let's change this to 50 and redo that. You can see the spikes are farther apart there. Let's run simulation again. You can see a lot less spikes in there. The pull-off is separated farther apart. Now, of course, you can do a dwell either by itself or combined with a pull-off. So if you don't want to pull off, you can just do a dwell and give it how many seconds you want, and of course with a chip length as well. So if we did that, uncheck that, and redo that. You're not going to see much in the way in the rendering because it's a dwell. But you'll have that dwell in your toolpath. So I seem to prefer the pull off method instead. And the nice thing about it as well is you can also do this with a finish pass if you like. Finish pass also has the dwell or pull off. So if we wanted to pull off again we could do that. Let's speed up this a little bit. Let's just tell it to stop before operation number two. And we'll speed past the first stop here. We'll slow it back down. Here's our finish pass. I started off the part a little too far here. But you can see you can do pull off as well on a finish pass. But normally 
I don't think most people would do it on a finish pass, but you do have that ability if you want to do that, especially if you're cutting maybe plastic, you might uh, want to do that in one cut. So that's where the contour would work very well. Thank you for watching.